Carson and this is my YouTube where I chat about all things knitting. Today we are doing a knitting chat. Um, it's pretty impromptu. I don't know what I'm talk about so we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, so grab a project or grab a drink. I'm drinking a good old fruit punch ice. Yum. So yeah, sit down and let's just, let's just knit and chat together. So yeah, we're just knitting and chatting today. I did have plans for a different video. I thought about making a 10 free sock patterns video, just with like 10 free patterns I've found on Ravelry and elsewhere. Um, Cause I've been really into socks recently. As you might know, if you've seen my other videos, I, or my last two, no, just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If you've watched any of my videos, you might know that I've had like a one sock curse for a very long time. I have three or four socks that I've knitted over the past year, maybe even longer, that just don't have, they don't have a friend. <laughs> so I broke that curse this past week, I think, maybe last week. Um, and I have two completed pairs now, which is really fun. And I've been so into sock knitting. But that said, I think I do want to make that video because there are a lot of really cool free sock patterns out there, but I selfishly just really wanted to knit today. Like that's all I want to do. So <laughs> today, that's why it's a knit and chat. It is impromptu. Like I said, I did not prepare, I did not ask for questions. I'm gonna talk about whatever I'm thinking, which could be interesting maybe, or really boring. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, so today I have cast it on. I don't know where to go. Oh, it's just hidden in my, I have this little, a uh, basket I keep my socks in, or my my sock whips in. So I've casted on the cuff, and I have a row done already. Because I don't know about y'all, but um, starting projects are always the most stressful to me, like casting them on, especially if you're starting with ribbing, because I think Casey from Young Folks and It's talked about this recently too. But I get so anxious when I'm reaching the end, because I'm like, did I cast on the right amount of stitches? Like, is it actually gonna end where it's supposed to end? You know, because I'm doing two by two ribbing and I'm just like, oh my gosh, what if the ribbing's off and that means I lost a stitch or something? So yeah, I had to do that uh, without chatting because I needed my brain power. So I have done a row, but I'm doing the cuff of um, this guy. <laughs> so that's what I'll be knitting on today. I wanted to show you all this one because I'm really proud of it. And it's so cozy. It is, you've probably seen this somewhere before, maybe on Instagram or Ravelry. This is the Sock Queens, this Handmade Life's um, Cozy Autumn Socks. I think I'll put the name here, the right, whatever it's really called. <laughs> I'll put it here and I'll link everything down below that I talk about. Um, but yeah, I, I'm obsessed. So I'm making the twin to this sock, the friend. So that's what I'll be knitting on today. Um, I casted these on Thursday and it is currently Sunday, which is insane because that means I finished them. I finished them this morning. I did the toe this morning or I finished the toe this morning. And that means I did them in like, what was that? Three days, four days? I don't know, I can't do math, but. So yeah, I um, soaked them in some water and they're currently blocking, they're pretty damp. But I really like this yarn combo. I stole some yarn that I had picked, not, it's, it was my yarn, I bought it. But I stole it from my stash because it was meant to be for a baby knit. Me and my husband picked this out together to make a baby knit with. Nothing in particular, we just kind of grabbed it. And I did use it in the Friday sweater baby, but petite knit. It had a bunch of stripes in it. And I used that color in, I used this color, this clay color in that knit. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have some leftover. It was a whole skein of sock yarn. So I was like, you know what? I'll steal some. So I did, and I really, really like it. And I used a mini skein I had in my stash. I had knit one sock with the mini skein, like just the cuff and the toes, I think. And I had knit, the main color in like a variegated orange. And it reminded me of pizza, but like not in a good way. <laughs> Maybe it was in a good way. It just wasn't my vibes. I don't know. So that one's one of my single socks that do not have 
a friend yet and I don't think it'll have a friend because I'm gonna rip it up so I can grab the other contrasting out of it so I can use it if I need it when I need it so yeah long story short that's what I'm knitting on <laughs> so yeah let me put this guy back take a drink of my fruit punch Hmm. So yeah, here we go. We we're just knitting, knitting along today. Let's see if my brain can handle knitting and chatting at the same time. Because you know, last time I did a video like this, uh, my only knit and chat video, I was making the June top by Petite Knit, and uh, the entire video, it was twisted. I didn't twist it while in the video, it was just already twisted. I just was, I didn't realize it. So, <laughs> hopefully I don't mess up on this one. So you might have noticed we are in a new location. <laughs> um, maybe I'll insert some pictures because this room has been a project. And so it's kind of funny. We have, we've only ever lived in really small places before we lived here. We've lived in like a mother-in-law suite. We've lived in a tiny apartment. We lived in a tiny A-frame that was really a studio. It had a loft, like a very tiny loft for the bedroom. <laughs> and that's like the extent of where we've lived as a couple. And so this house is our first home, like official home. And we really wanted a house with like some character Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Oh no, the sun's coming. Oh lordy. I'm sorry the lighting's kind of crazy. I've had some issues with lighting. It, the clouds are out today, so it's like pretty shady. But then the sun comes out for a second and it's really blurry. So I'm sorry if I just, my face blows out, but it should correct itself. <laughs> um, so what I was saying is that this is our first home and it's a house and it has three bedrooms. And this one is the bedroom upstairs. There's no bathroom connected or anything. It's just almost like a little loft upstairs. And our original plan, I don't even know. This one was kind of like, what do we do with it? Because we've never had that much space before. So we have our bedroom downstairs. We have a guest bedroom that will become the nursery, which I think we'll probably just keep a bed down there anyways because uh, the bathroom's downstairs, you know? So we thought originally this room could be like a cozy nook library situation, but I also work from home. So I was thinking it could be like an office space too. And my husband works from home a little bit as well. But it's funny because I kind of thought I would have full reign of this room like to make it <laughs> my own. So my husband claimed the kitchen and he claimed the dining room, which is fine and he actually decorated the dining room pretty cute and the kitchen looks nice too but for this room i was just really envisioning like a cozy library with bookshelves and cozy seating i don't know i just had this unrealistic vision in my mind and my husband has been getting into woodworking and he really wants to make a certain type of chair like he wants to specialize in making this chair which is pretty cool so he got all this used equipment and that's another reason why we're really excited about the house is because it has a shop. Well, it's a garage, but we use it as a shop. We don't put the cars in it. And I recently realized he was insulating it because there's a little like garden shed in the back kind of, and he was insulating it and really working hard on it to make it like his shop. And he realized there were termites in it, like in the wood and stuff. So he did not feel comfortable storing his stuff in there and like i don't know he didn't feel comfortable redoing it like a big diy because it was kind of compromised you know like the integrity of it was a little compromised so he decided <laughs> that uh this would be both of our craft slash work rooms so he gets one half of this room and i get the other which is fine i at first i was like are you kidding me <laughs> like i'm really Selfishly wanted full reign of this room, but I also want him to be able to do his craft, which will be interesting because it's woodworking and uh, it's not a big room. I feel like I might get really dirty in here. 
So anyways, this room has been stressing me out because we didn't really know what we were doing with it. We also thought it could be a guest room too later on because, you know, the downstairs will be the nursery. So I was like, we have to leave space to put a bed in it. And he, I don't know, we, we just could not figure it out. So we just decided it's just gonna be half mine, half his. It can be whatever I want it to be. And so I decided it could be my office space slash craft space slash maybe podcast studio if the lighting works out in here. <laughs> in the sound, gosh, I hope it sounds okay. Um, We'll see. <laughs> it's not, this will not, this video will not be going up, but hopefully it'll be okay. So the past two days, I mean, it, this room has been a wreck. Like we, for a while it was our extra room. So we just stored all of our moving boxes in it and stuff. And it looked terrible. Like it was just nothing, but my husband cleaned it up and he made his office. We have a little closet almost in it and he likes, darkness when he works, which is odd. <laughs> and I'm a natural light person and we have two big windows like right here. And so he decided he really wanted a cozy office inside the closet. And then he'll have his craft space in the other half room. And so I don't know what got into me. I think I'm in nesting mode, maybe. Maybe that's what's happening. I just really want to stay home and like decorate and clean and knit. Like that's all I want to do. The nursery is a whole other situation. A whole other situation. <laughs> so we really want to paint it, but it's just so hot and humid. It, the nursery stresses me out, to be honest, but it's fine. We don't have to think about that right now. <laughs> so anyways, this room I decorated. Yes. Oh, got a bug. This room I decorated yesterday and mostly today. Honestly, we moved. We had this desk. My aunt gave us this desk. Most of our furniture has come from family, like stuff they painted down to us as like family heirlooms or my aunt got that in an estate sale for one of her kids and our kids just don't use it anymore. So we're very grateful for that. We have a bunch of mixed matched furniture in our house, which at first I was kind of like, ugh, I wish we had a certain style. Like I love, not, well, I do like farmhouse, but I also really like cottage almost like cottage core ish that's i don't know i just like woodsy cottagey vibes so that's what i had imagined our house to be but honestly everything we have is so mixed mixed match because it's hand-me-downs and stuff but i've learned to love it <laughs> because for one most of it was free which was amazing and it was also handed down from family so you know we have memories associated with it but like for one we have a blue jean couch in our living room that everyone comments on and it's pretty funny they tell us they like it and i wonder if they're being serious or not it is funky for sure <laughs> maybe i'll insert a picture of our blue jean couch someone i did a vlog a while ago and the couch was featured in it and someone commented that it was a jouch like a jean couch i thought that was funny so anyways maybe i'll insert some pictures of this room because i'm really proud of it i wish the lighting was better today <laughs> usually whenever it's sunny this room gets pretty even lighting because we have like a cover over the window kind of i don't know it just gets even lighting but today the sun's going in and out that's okay so i'm really close to the window but i want to show it off because i'm just very proud of what it became because it was nothing and i'm not sure if i'm done yet like i have a lot of space in the corner but yeah, and what I really want is like a comfy chair or something here so I can come in here and knit too. Or just read, I don't know, get away <laughs> from the dogs. No, I love my dogs. So yeah, and I think this will be a really good workspace too. Because I work from home and I'm working from our dining room table. Anyways, we're already rambling. <laughs> but yeah, so maybe this will work out to where it can be my little like podcast studio too. We shall see. Yeah, fall obviously has also been on my mind, if y'all don't know. <laughs> um, we, talking about house, oh my gosh. That's interesting, this yarn got cut up in the zipper. Okay, I'm a mess over here. <laughs> Anyways, I've been really into fall. Just talking about random stuff, talking about house stuff too. We did not have a working oven for months, 
months and months. We moved it in April and our oven has not worked since then. And we got it fixed a week ago. So we've been making all the stuff. My husband loves to bake. He was into sourdough before it was cool. <laughs> Like before the COVID craze of sourdough, he was into it before then. And he treats his starter like a baby, you know, he feeds it whenever he needs to. <laughs> it's pretty funny. He is dedicated to that sourdough. So he was really stressing because he loves making bread. That was kind of our Sunday rituals. Like he would stay home all day on Sundays and he would do all of his baking. Because it takes a long time to... I don't know. He knows more about it than I do. I'm not the cook in our house. He is for sure. But he just loves baking. And I love baking some stuff. Um, we got some stuff to make banana nut muffins, which I'm excited about. I've done those once before and they turned out really good. So I'm excited. <laughs> I kind of wait for the bananas to get ripe though. Anyways, that's been another thing I've been enjoying recently is having an oven so we can bake all this fun fall stuff. We baked some cookies, yes, not yesterday, last week. They were just like store bought uh, cookie dough, <laughs> but that was fine. It was still fun to bake them. I baked those and that was a good time. It was just so fun to have like warm cookies that we made ourselves. Not made ourselves. We, like I said, we bought the cookie dough, but I think he is going to make some cookie dough. Maybe that's might be what he's doing right now. So making cookie dough so we can make some homemade cookies to be so much fun so yeah that's another thing i've been up to <laughs> recently we have a garden as well and it's not doing so hot my husband tends the garden he's he loves like cooking and he loves the ingredients as well if that makes any sense like i don't know he loves he loves homemaking, <laughs> I guess. He is quite the homemaker. He loves to can stuff. But anyways, we have garden and it's not doing so hot. But what is doing really good in the garden is flowers he planted for me. I truly don't even know what they're called, but they're super overgrown. Maybe I'll put a picture of that as well. So I've kind of been har harvesting some every now and then, just cutting them off. <laughs> cause he wants to chop them off cause he wants to plant different things for the fall. So that's another thing I've been doing <laughs> recently is harvesting flowers from our garden, which is pretty fun and drying them. So back on to knitting. I feel like I've seen a ton of people talk about knitting for the holidays, like holiday knitting. And I'm curious, have y'all started yet? <laughs> and do you have big holiday knitting plans like gifting? I. I have done a bit of holiday gifting, especially whenever I first started knitting in the round, I made a ton of hats and I made too many hats that I could possibly wear. And so I sold some and I gifted some. They were pretty chunky <laughs> hats. And so I've made a lot of hats and I made some last year too for gifts. And then I usually, I've been making money in the socks. I did that for the first time last Christmas and I made her some more socks. It's for some holiday, her birthday maybe? I made her socks again after that. But I think <laughs> I'm telling myself, you know what, I'm pregnant. I have a little baby coming in December right before the holidays. I don't think I should, I don't think I'm gonna put a lot of whole, I, I can't talk. I don't think I'm gonna put a whole lot of... <laughs> I should take a break for a minute. I don't think I need to put a whole lot of pressure on myself to make everyone gifts this year, you know? I can be selfish a, a bit because I have a baby, so... I've been making him all the things. I've been gift knitting our child all the things, and it's funny because he's, he's gonna be so little, he can't even really appreciate them, but maybe he will whenever he gets older. I don't know. And of course I'm going to keep everything in case we have more kids and they can wear it too. But I don't know. That's like pretty much all the gift knitting. If you can count that as a gift that I'll be doing besides. Ooh. So I made my husband the Helen sweater. <laughs> I'm not rolling my eyes because I hated it. It just, it took a really long time for me personally due to life things, AKA getting pregnant. But it uh so i made him the helmet sweater which was quite the feat 
it took forever and I wasn't super motivated to do it. It was supposed to be a Christmas. No, no, it was supposed to be, yeah, it was supposed to be a Christmas gift last year and I just finished it like a month or two ago. And he has already requested another sweater. <laughs> and I, I need to, uh, listen, everyone's been telling me that I need to rip up the arms and do it again. Casey from Young Folk Nick's, Young Folk Nick, I can't talk. Casey believes in me though and she, she was like, you can totally block that. So she gave me the confidence. And so I'm gonna try to block the arms again, y'all, before I rip them back. I'm gonna do that. Cause I honestly didn't block them that well to begin with. But what I will be ripping up and extending is um, the body. Just, oh wow, we're, we're getting blown out again. Wow, so pretty. <laughs> Maybe it'll go away in a second. If not, I'll pause and change it. I've changed my lighting a little bit, but I have a feeling the sun's gonna go right back away. So I might get really weird again in a second. Uh, so what I was saying is the halibut sweater, I, technically it's done, but I, technically it's not. <laughs> I still need to go back and rip it out. Rip out the ribbing and just extend the body like a few more inches, perhaps. So you can wear it. But like I said, he's already requested another sweater, which is fine. He's requested it for Christmas. So I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I do want to knit him stuff. I have knit him a handmade um, thing. It was gloves before, and he wears those a ton. So, yeah, I mean, he deserves something knitted, you know? He's he's a very nice husband. He loves cook and home make, like I said. He's, he's great. So, yeah, he he deserves another sweater, but he wants a hoodie. And so some of y'all recommended the Montrealer hoodie, maybe, something like that. And I liked that suggestion because it was a worsted weight. <laughs> but I did, I so I showed him that one. I showed him a bunch of just hoodies on Ravelry that I found for unisex and for men. And he did not choose the Montreal or he chose a DK weight one, which is fine if that's what he wants, you know, that's fine. Um, I can do it. It'll be okay. But I don't remember what it's called. It's by Rowan though, like the brand Rowan. And it's just a basic hoodie. It has, maybe it's called the fishbone hoodie because it has some a color work on it and it's a fishbone, but I'm not gonna do the fishbone. He just wants it solid. So I ordered yarn for that the other day, which I'm really excited. I want to say I got Cascade. It was a Cascade Superwash Merino Wool, but it was undyed. So it's a really pretty oatmeal color. And I'm excited. I think it's supposed to come in tomorrow. I'm telling myself as soon as I get the yarn, I need to cast on so I don't put myself in a situation like I did with this halibut sweater. So yes, that will be on my needles soon. And oh gosh, I looked at the pattern, I bought it, and then I looked at it. Cause it didn't really tell you how it works up, I don't think, um, on Ravelry. Some of them do, some of them will tell you if you have to seam. Oh goodness, what happened here? Oh God, it's hangled up. <laughs> my mini skein is, uh, one second. So, okay, my skein got tangled and then the sun went down again. So I changed everything. Anyways, um, I looked at the pattern after I bought it, and I'm pretty sure there's seaming involved, which I don't love. Oh, it'll be okay. I'm telling myself, as soon as I get the yarn, hopefully tomorrow, I'll just cast on. I don't care how much I do. I just need to cast on, so it's there, ready for me to work on when I need it. But, you know, it's September. I feel like this is a good time to start holiday knitting. Given <laughs> we will have a child hopefully before Christmas. So yeah, we'll have a, a child as well. <laughs> so that might cut into my Christmas knitting if he decides to come earlier or I might just not want to knit. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. It might be tricky, but if I start now, I feel like I have a good chance of getting it done. So I hope you have any fun holiday knitting plans if you're already doing it or if you haven't even thought about it yet. Usually I'm a procrastinator. So I have a few, well, I guess I've only really gifted it for two years, but I feel like every year I procrastinate and I do it the week before. Okay, so I did forget to mention 
I was kind of encouraged to knit more socks after finishing my just basic vanilla socks because of the knit along and I don't remember what it's called but I'll put it up here. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are doing it or have seen it. It's maybe it's a September or a fall knit along, fall sock knit along. I don't know. I'll put the name of it up here. If you're interested, it's on Instagram. And I have never really done a knit along before. I've done one once, kind of, <laughs> back in March. It was the ass kick along. And the intended purpose was pretty cool. It was to finish an object or pick up something that you haven't worked on in a really long time or mostly just things that are taking a while like finish it or do it you know <laughs> stop procrastinating and do it and that is what encouraged me to finish my outline tank so that was fun <laughs> and that was actually my goal was to finish the halibut sweater during the ass kick along challenge because it was just not going very fast it was already late. <laughs> it was already a couple months late. And I did finish the color work, which was a feat in itself, but I did not finish the entire sweater, obviously. <laughs> so that was fun. And this one I'm excited about because I'm really excited about socks right now. And it's, and I am also excited about fall. And this one is specifically like for fall socks. I'm pretty sure the only rules are that you complete them within maybe September 15th to November 15th, something like that. And they just have to be like fallish, either it's a fallish pattern or fallish colors. I think any weight of sock is um, accepted. I'm not sure if there's like a winner. I think there are, I don't know what they win though. I don't know, it just looked fun. I didn't read too much into it. I just was like, oh, okay, that's a good excuse to cast on another sock. And so I casted these bad boys on. I was actually between this sock and this Handmade Life's A Walk in the Woods or something like that. They have leaves on, it's like a leaf motif. And I do want to do that one at some point. But um, I just saw this on Instagram. I saw a lot of people doing it. And I'm actually in a sock group on Facebook. And I saw someone post in it this pattern. And I asked what the pattern was. And they're like, oh, it's our knit along pattern for the month. I knew they did that. <laughs> I was just like in the group for sock inspiration. So I guess technically I'm in two knit alongs, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, it was these. It was the cozy, cozy autumn socks. And it's free, so it's fun. <laughs> it's free, it's fun, have the yarn. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. I'm excited about everything I knit, which is good. I've definitely been wanting to knit more things that bring me joy. Like I was truly considering casting on the champagne cardigan because if you watched my last podcast, I only had finished objects and I hadn't started anything yet. It felt good to get things off the needles. I don't know about y'all, but whenever I don't have anything on my needles, whenever I'm in the process of like casting on or figuring out what I want to cast on next, I get really stressed out <laughs> and very confused because I'm very indecisive. And I thought about, because I have a pattern, I have, I'm reusing old yarn and I have, I caked up some of that yarn. So I like had it ready to go, and I was gonna cast on the champagne card again by Petit Knit. But the thought of casting on a big garment like that just didn't, I don't know, it didn't call to me. What called to me were more socks. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, you're having fun with socks, just like cast on over sock, why not? So who knows, I might be an exclusive sock and baby knit knitter from now on. I don't know. I know if I made the champagne card, I would wear it all the time. As long as, you know, I did it right and it fit and everything. But, I don't know, it's just the thought of casting it on. That's why I'm telling myself, once I get my husband's yarn in, I have to cast it on. Because I don't have the motivation to do it myself, so I just need, I need rules. I need to be like, in my head, as soon as you get it, you have to cast it on. And so that way it's on and you're good to go. So. We'll see. But I'm trying to make myself excited about that one because I know he'll wear it. I honestly think he'll wear that one as long as as long as it fits, as long as everything goes good. 
more than the sweater because he's more of a hoodie person, like casual clothes. He's honestly never worn a sweater. I've never seen my husband wear a sweater. He says he will wear that sweater and I made sure of it before I made the halibut sweater because I knew it would be a lot of work. So he says he'll wear it. And I asked him where. <laughs> so my husband, he um, spends a lot of time outdoors and that's why he wants the hoodie. He wants it in Merino. And so I asked him, I was like, well, if you're gonna wear the hoodie outside and stuff, where are you gonna wear the halibut sweater? <laughs> He's like, oh, you know, events. <laughs> I'm thinking, do we ever go to events? Like what events are you talking about? So we'll see. Okay, so I think I'll end on talking about books because some of y'all did enjoy that little rendition of the podcast. I didn't do it on my last podcast, but I think the one before that, I did just a little book section at the very end, like what I was reading. And well, I think a lot of us like to read. A lot of us knitters like to read. So yeah, honestly, <laughs> I'm still on Six of Crows. I've been knitting so much recently. I can't like knit and flip pages at the same time, you know? <laughs> so it's like my knitting has been taking up all of my extra time that I have, like all my hobby time. So I haven't gotten very far on Six of Crows at all. Like I want to say, I think I've maybe read a couple chapters after that podcast and I just started it then. So Verruckt is still out, but I've heard lots of good things about it. I think <laughs> I might have to return it to my library because I got it renewed. I asked the lady how many times I could renew it because I went back and I had to renew it. It was already two weeks. I asked her how many times I could renew before I had to turn it back in. And she was like, oh, I can renew it to you for like a month. Let's just go ahead and do that. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So I don't have to turn it back in until the end of this month, but I think I probably will just go ahead and do it so someone else can enjoy it because my husband has Audible and we have a lot of credits built up. And because I've never used Audible, I haven't been a huge listener of books. I've only really enjoyed reading books, but I honestly haven't tried to listen to many books. So I think it's a compromise to my all my hobbies. <laughs> I might end up listening to it instead. And you know, I have a library app too, and my library has books online. And you can listen to them there too. So I might turn in the actual physical copy and just listen to the rest of it. So I can knit while I listen, because <laughs> I my fingers have to just go, you know? So I don't know, let me know if you're like an audiobook person and if there are any really good audiobooks. Cause I'm listening to one right now. I decided to give it a try. It's like, it's called like Ida May's Guide to Childbirth. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to prep myself. Um, and I enjoy the content of it, but I don't love the way it's being read. Like it kind of sounds like a robot. <laughs> and I know some authors will read their own books. I'm not sure if that's her talking or not. Or if it's just like a someone else they had. But if you have any good audiobook recommendations, especially in like fantasy section, <laughs> let me know. I'm a fantasy person. But I don't know, I'd love to experience one that is enticing sounding too. If that makes any sense. Let me know. <laughs> okay, so I'm so tangled. Do you see this? How tangled I am? And I have, look at all, I've done like a pretty good portion. I wonder if I'm, if I've gone too far. I'm only doing a, an inch. Let me show you. So I have this much. There we go. I have this much done at the cuff. Then honestly, I might be pretty much ready to go on. So I'm going to stop it here because look how tangled this is. I have like, somehow I ended up with two little balls of mini skein and I had, let's start out with one. I gotta, I gotta fix this issue. So yeah, anyways, this was probably, <laughs> I'm sorry, this was really rambly. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I feel like some, <laughs> last time I said my brain was getting more and more mushy and someone told me, they're like, that's not gonna go away with <laughs> your child, you know? But like, it might get more mushy. And I agree, I agree. So I'm sorry if this was, a little bit scattered, hopefully found something interesting. Um, and hopefully it just kind of felt like we were knitting and chatting together. So yeah, I think I'll probably do another one of these videos later on. I'll be traveling a lot in October, so I might film 
some ahead of time. So if you have any questions you would like answer, if you're curious, maybe I can answer those in my next Ninchat instead of just going free for all. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I'll save them for next Ninchat. But yeah. anyways, thanks for joining. Hope you got some knitting done or just had fun chilling. So yeah, I guess I'll see you next time.